From coast to coast now, the house lights go down, and the curtain goes up on Algiers. Starring Charles Boyer as Pepe Lamoco, Hedy Lamar as Gabby, and Alan Napier as Inspector Slimane. Algiers, where the blazing desert meets the blue Mediterranean, and modern Europe jostles ancient Africa. A stone's throw from the modern city, the native quarter, known as the Casbah, stands like a fortress above the sea. Here mingle the people of many tribes and races, drifters and outcasts from all parts of the world, and criminals seeking refuge from the law. Supreme on these heights rules one man, Pepe Lamoco, long wanted by the police. Far below the Casbah at police headquarters, the new commissioner demands his capture. I'm not interested in hearing excuses about local conditions, Inspector. Here's a criminal whose exploits have made him notorious throughout Europe. And for two years, he's been living here in Algiers within a stone throw of your headquarters. As you say, Commissioner. I'm here to settle this, and I want it done quickly. Commissioner, you have only just arrived in Algiers. You are not familiar with the Casbah. Casbah? What's that? Some kind of nut? A very hard nut to crack. You see... Pepe Lomoko lives in the castle. Well, why not go in and take him out of it? You cannot arrest the king in his own palace. And Pepe is well guarded. Let me show you this map, Commissioner. Ah, this is fantastic. As a civilized man, you do not like fantasy. As a police officer, I don't believe in it. Yet here it exists. Now, this is the native quarter known as the Casta. As you look at it here, it is just a few lines on the map. But the reality is something stranger than anything you could have dreamed. It is only a step from the modern city to the Casbah, but when you take that step, you enter another world, a melting pot for all the sins of earth. A jungle of houses, a labyrinth of narrow passages and winding alleys, rotten with vermin and decay and the filth of centuries. No one knows what mysteries are hidden behind those walls. No one knows what crimes and hopes are buried in those secret courtyards. 40,000 inhabitants from all over the world live there. Kabyles in their white robes, Chinese faithful to Confucius, gypsies with their fortune-telling and their songs, Negroes from every corner of Africa, and women. Oh, women of every age and color. Women caught in the net of the Kasta. Everywhere there are terraces all connected together so that those who are accepted can move to any part of the Kasbah without even using the street. It is like a fortress rising from the sea, colorful, sordid, dangerous. There is not just one Kasbah, there are a hundred, a thousand. And in that labyrinth, Pepe Lomoko is at home. And he is safe as long as he stays there. Mm, well, how, how does this Pepe Lomoko conceal himself? Disguise, no doubt. You do not know Pepe, Commissioner. He'd laugh at disguise. Then why don't you find him, Inspector? Ah, but that is singularly easy. I see him every day. You see him? But of course. Then why, Inspector Slamane, has there been no effort to make an arrest? To arrest him in the castle would be simple. To get him out, impossible. So you do nothing? I flatter myself that I do a great deal in my humble way. I learn about Pepe. I know his habits. I study his weaknesses. When one cannot use guns, one must work with brains. I prefer guns. Inspector, we're going into the Casbah tonight. I'll need 12 men fully armed and ready for work. And you might prepare a special cell for Pepe Lamoco. As you wish, monsieur. <laughs> police! The police are coming! Police! <laughs> <laughs> Where he is, you there. Where is Pepe Lomoko? Anna, Mabafu, Mabafu. Well, what's he say, Inspector? He does not know him. Sergeant, I see Regis over there. Bring him to me. Who's this Regis? Oh, a very old friend of ours, an informer. No, 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 let me go. I don't know anything. I haven't done anything. Come here, my let friend. Me go. Where is Pepe Lomoko? I don't know. By the sword of the great prophet, I haven't set eyes on him for two weeks. For two weeks, I haven't seen his face. Where is he, Regis? Where is Pepe? At Grandpa's. I don't know anything. I haven't seen him. Let him go, Sergeant. Let me alone. I don't know anything. What did he say? He said that Pepe Lomoco is at Grandpa's. Grandpa? Who's he? A receiver of stolen goods. And you know where his place is? We know it. Then all the young men surround him at once. As you say, Commissioner. Now, now, dear Pepe. 
Look at this pearl. A remarkable specimen. You know, you and I have the same feeling for beauty, Pepe. Yes, this pearl belongs on a very special kind of ear. Like a pink shell with a little curl of gold hair. A special kind of gold. I can just see it. Pepe, let's get down to business. We want to sell the stuff, not talk about it. Be quiet, Carlos. Carlos is definitely uncouth. Compare, you took the words out of my mouth. He's trying to cheat us, Pepe. All this talk is so he can get a better price, so he can make fools of us. Yes, so easy to make a fool of me. Why don't you try it sometime? Well, uh, Gampé has dealt with us for two years. We must have confidence in each other. That's the way to get along, eh, Gampé? Uh, that's the truth, Pepe. You know, this was once my trade. I began life in a jewelry store. And when you left, <laughs> you took the store with you. <laughs> it became a habit. You know, I dream about settling down sometime, away from the Casbah, in a great city where people understand these things of beauty. I'd make a collection of jewels like this, not just for myself, for people to see in glass cases, with Max here in a uniform to take care of them. Okay. And me, Pepe? You, Piero? You, my young friend? You would have a uniform like a general and be in charge of everything. Oh, I'd like that if you were there, too. I want to stick with you, Pepe. Ah, Piero, I have great hopes for you someday. The signal. Get that stuff off the table. Leave it alone, Carlos. Who is it? It's Ines. Quick. Ines, open the door. Come in, Ines. Pepe, the police, they're coming. Police? Yo, look out the window. How do you know it's the police? I saw them. They're coming across the terrace, down in the street, everywhere. They're surrounding the house. Well, that's funny. How did they know I was here? Here they come, Pepe. Here, well, give me the gun. When will you learn to obey orders? Pepe, I only thought that... There, you see? That was too close. Don't take so many chances, Pierre. I don't want a bullet to come between us. The way that one almost did. Pepe, there's the door downstairs. Now they'll break it again. Oh, every few weeks I have to get new doors. Uh, you'd better go, Pepe. Go on, quick. Cross the roof. Ines, you come with me. I want to speak to you. The rest of you, out the back way. I'll see you later. This way, Ines. Ines, hmm? did you tell anyone where I was? No one, Pepe. You're sure? Try to remember. Why don't you believe me, Pepe? All I want is to please you. I could not lie to you. Don't you? What about all that time you kept telling me that you didn't like me? But this is serious. Ah, so. Love is not serious. Pepe, it's serious if someone told the police. I didn't talk to anyone. I stayed at home until Regis came. Who came? Regis. Oh, Regis. My old and trusted friend. As soon as he told me, I ran to you. What did Regis tell you? About the police. He wanted me to warn you. Well... It was nice of him, wasn't it? And that's what I thought. <laughs> yes. Is that all you thought? Was there anything else for me to think? Mm -hmm. That's what I like about you, Highness. You're such a child. I, I, I don't understand you, Pepe. <laughs> Never mind. Here, hold that your hand. I have something very beautiful. Oh, See? a ring. Oh, Pepe. Oh, no, no. Don't grab. It's unlucky. You want to give it to me, Pepe? No, it's for some fat old woman. Oh, let me have it, Pepe. Sometime I'll get fat. <laughs> but you would lose it before that. Oh, no, no. I'll keep it for a charm. Then you must keep your fingers crossed. All right. So, there, see? Oh, <laughs> this ring will mean that I'm always yours, Pepe. With my fingers crossed. Pepe, they've seen you. There he is. Keep down, Ida. Pepe, run. They'll catch you. Ah, don't worry. You get back to the place. I'll meet you in the morning. Pepe, be careful. Be careful. Monsieur. Keep firing! Don't let him out of your sight! Monsieur, will you help me, please? Madame, get off the street. I'm afraid I don't know which way to go. In this doorway, here, quickly. Thank you, monsieur. Not at all. But might I suggest that the Casbah is not a safe place to visit in the evening? Particularly when one is wearing jewels such as yours. <laughs> 